Scene script. Who do you think rules the ocean, killer whales or sharks? The vast, watery depths of our planet are home to an array of fascinating creatures, but none are more captivating or formidable than the killer whale and the shark. These two predators, each in their own right, are the undisputed rulers of the ocean realm. On one hand, we have killer whales, or orcas, as they're also known. These black and white giants are the largest members of the dolphin family, and are renowned for their intelligence and strength. On the other hand, we have sharks, a group that includes over 400 species, from the small and elusive cookie-cutter shark, to the mammoth great white shark. These ancient creatures have been patrolling the oceans for over 400 million years, their sleek bodies and razor-sharp teeth embodying the very essence of marine predation. Now that we've met our two contenders, let's dive deeper into their world. Both killer whales and sharks are built for the kill, but how do they differ in their physical makeup and hunting strategies? Killer whales or orcas are the largest of the dolphin family. They can grow up to 32 feet long, which is about the length of a school bus. They are built for speed and agility, with a top speed of up to 34 miles per hour. With their conical sharp teeth, they're capable of tearing apart their prey with ease. Sharks on the other hand vary greatly in size. The great white shark for instance can grow up to 20 feet long and swim at a top speed of 15 miles per hour. Unlike orcas, sharks have rows of serrated teeth designed for slicing through flesh. When it comes to hunting, killer whales often use strategic teamwork to corral their prey, while sharks are more solitary hunters, relying on their stealth and power to ambush their prey. As we can see, both species are well equipped for survival but what about their social behaviors? Killer whales and sharks, though similar in many ways, have very distinct social behaviors and roles in the ecosystem. Killer whales are renowned for their complex social structures, forming tight-knit pods of up to 40 individuals. These pods are matriarchal, with strong bonds between mothers and their offspring. Communication plays a critical role, with unique dialects developing within each pod. In contrast, sharks are predominantly solitary creatures. While some species do form loose social groups, these associations are not as structured or enduring as those of killer whales. Sharks rely more on individual skills and instincts rather than collective strategies. In terms of ecological roles, killer whales and sharks are apex predators, meaning they sit at the very top of the food chain. Their diet includes a variety of marine species thus controlling populations and maintaining balance within the ecosystem. Both species play critical roles in the ocean's ecosystem, but which one has the upper hand? So, who really rules the ocean, the killer whale or the shark? We've examined their physical features, hunting strategies, social behaviors, and ecological roles. Both are apex predators, yet they are distinct in their own ways. Killer whales, with their intelligence and cooperative hunting skills, have been known to prey on sharks. They use their unique ability to generate waves to knock their prey off balance, demonstrating a level of strategy rarely seen in the animal kingdom. On the other hand, sharks, with their powerful jaws and razor-sharp teeth, are solitary hunters who rely on stealth and speed. They rule the deep sea, often in areas where killer whales are not found. There have been dramatic encounters between these two titans, often the outcome depends on the particular species of shark and the group of killer whales involved. In the end, both killer whales and sharks are formidable predators, each ruling their own corners of the ocean. But when they meet, it's a sight to behold. Thanks for watching and remember the ocean is full of wonders waiting to be discovered.